Okay, so in the last video, we validated our login form. In this video, let's validate that registration form. Okay, so um, first what we need to do is um, see where we're handling the registration of users. Obviously, that happens in the users class in the store method here. And if you remember, I said that Laravel provides for you a validate uh, function if you extend the base controller. So we're going to call that validate. And we're going to pass in the request that... Um, we're being passed in when we submit a form and um, let's call the user class and um, inside there we're going to call the create validation rules create validation rules and this is a static variable which um, has to exist on that class so let's copy that name and go to the user model and create that as well so we're going to say public uh, static and um, create validation rules and it has to be an array and um, we're going to have keys and prop and values of what we need to validate so we're going to validate the name and it has to be required and um, it also has to be unique and um, we're going to check it against the users table right next what we want to validate is the email and um, the email has to be required as well and um, it also has to be an email format type and um, it also has to be unique and it checked against the user's table okay lastly let's um, check the password and the password is, is only required okay so um, that's all we need to do to validate our um, registration um, data but lastly Let's go to the um, form which validates our which we used to create a new user and um, see how we can output the errors in case any exists. Okay, so if you remember in the login form here, we did a check for um, errors to see if the count is more than zero and then we looped over each of those to output them. So we're going to copy that exact same value here and in the create form here. We're just going to paste that right after the h2 tag so just pause the video for a moment and have a look at what's happening here okay all right so let's go to our registration form new user so i'll just submit it uh, empty here so submit and as you can see it says the name uh, email and password field is required so let's make sure let's try to create a user uh, which already exists so as you can see lamin exists in the database um, i'll submit that and we should see a different error for the name field here so submit it says the name has already been taken so i'll just do lamin at uh, laravel.com it should tell us that the uh, email is also taken so the email has already been taken and uh, yeah so it means that the validation rules are working so i'll just do a lamin2 and a lamin2 at laravel.com and we're going to do a password of uh, lamin2 so submit and as you can see those do not exist in the database and um, hence we created those new users and um, we are automatically logged in and taken to uh, the home page for that newly created user okay so let's check in the database uh, refresh the users table and as you can see lamin2 is created now in that table okay so that's it guys for this tutorial um, video and um, that brings us to the end of this series and um, if i think of any more videos to add to the series i'll add them but for now this will suffice to create a basic um, laravel 5 login and registration system and i thank you for sticking with me i hope you enjoyed it i will thank you soon i'll see you soon in another video cheers bye bye